be getting a run. Can't tell. Just in case. I'm gonna treat it like one. Yeah, definitely getting a run. Getting a run, getting a run, letting it eat, but I think it's a Kubera that might be making a mistake. Let's see. Yep, yep, yeah. Oh no. Oh. Yep. I'm gonna dump on the live bait. Pretty sure. Must have got me in the rocks already. Definitely a fish. Definitely a fish. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm fishing out. Ah. Ah. Adam, you copy? I'm hooked up on the light bait, big. Just trying to get down to the rocks. Oh God, Woo. something good you guys, something strong on the live bait. It's heading straight down, I'm thinking it might be a Kubera. I made some runs, I can barely keep the rod off the gunnel. I'm just, please don't be a shark, Zach got a shark this one. Oh, I see, oh, I got color and then I don't see. Might be a rooster. Yep, rooster. Not a real big one. They're just so strong. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I think you heard me. Not a big one. Gallo. Robert's hooked up. Looking like a rooster fish. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Tip wrap! Yeah. Oh. Got you! because they're bulletproof. Come on. Ah. Oh, hard to hook itself. Ow. Stormy day rooster in the lightning kayak. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. I've not had that bait out very long and there it is. Hoo I'm gonna try to just toss her. She's still. Yeah. That's first in the back. Look at her go. Oh no. I'll get her. I wasn't recording my head mount for any of that, of course. I got you. Yeah, but the audio. Yeah. No, we're we're going to revive them with it. Then do Yeah. Yeah. Took my fish finder with it and everything. Oh, man. Nice. Well, had that bait out maybe 10 minutes. And there's a rooster fish. Third one of the trip so far from the lightning kayak strike. Just realized my head mount wasn't recording and the wind, I couldn't hear anything. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot, uh, she hooked me back. 
I cut this real quick, just did not want uh, that thing in my skin. Uh, but I got my shirt, my NRS burial hoodie. I love this shirt, dang it. But yeah, that was kind of one of those knee jerk, uh, instantaneous decisions. You don't want a hook like this in your skin while the fish is still attached to the line, so I just cut it. I'll retie that, but nice. They're chewing, boys. Get ready. Ah, uh, covering this line. Yeah, so this rainstorm moved in right behind us. We got some rain a minute ago and it brought some wind, but a lot of times after these storms pass, the wind will die down. And that wasn't even a very big rooster, but they were so strong. That was hairy a couple of times in this kind of sloppy chop. <sighs> that thing digging. He made an unexpected run I wasn't ready for there at the end and off to the side. But luckily, I had backed off my drag. You always want to back off your drag when these fish are close to the boat. That way, if you need to get leverage and pull them up, you can thumb it, thumb the spool and pull them up. But then if they take off right next to the boat, you're not locked down and it doesn't have leverage to flip you. You can just release on your thumb with the kind of medium drag and it'll just pull a line out. Anytime you got a big fish next to the kayak, back off your drag while you try to land that fish. It'll drastically increase your chances of landing the fish and staying upright. But it's lightening up over there where that storm came from, so we're pretty hopeful that uh, this wind's gonna die down here soon. And hopefully the rain's gonna pass too. It's still kind of, it's still blue and nice over the lodge, but not so much offshore. Looks like the bite is on. Now Brayton's got one, right after we release Roberts. Got a nice beauty. Oh yeah, sick. Hang on, let me get some All right, and now Brayden from Oklahoma. He's here with his dad, Jeff. He just got a run and sure enough, he just landed a rooster too, about five minutes after mine. They're chewing right now. This place is often boom and bust. It's very tide dependent. And when that tide and the pressure and everything lines up, these fish just start chewing. And we routinely, it'll be kind of quiet for an hour, two or three. And then all of a sudden, boom, 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 triples, quadruples. Uh, it'll just fire real quick for everyone. Maybe that's the start of it. Maybe we'll just get all these boys roosters today. I think I'm getting another run. It ran a little ways and then stopped. I don't know, might have dropped it. Might have come, been coming towards me. And I might be just drifting towards it, but I'm just letting it eat right now. The big bait, you gotta let these fish eat. Or they can't tell. It might be nothing there, but I'm gonna give it a few more seconds. And then I'm just gonna reel real fast in case there is a fish that's just not running away from me. All right, here we go. Let's see? Yep, 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 yep. Fish on, fish on. Adam, I'm hooked up again on the bait. I'm hooked up on the bait at Rooster City. Oh, here we go, baby. Slay rod, it's staying up. High in the water column. Careful, Braden, it's heading towards you. Uh, and, and it's pulling me pretty damn fast, bro. Holy, you can tell pretty quick in some pretty gnarly conditions. It's raining, it's windy, we got some swell. Not crazy, but uh, yeah, not exactly a beautiful day either. Uh, uh, yep, yep, still there. Uh, if this is a rooster, it's definitely a bigger one. I don't even know y'all can see me, all this, these water drops on the lenses. It's like just enough rain to make it annoying. So it's definitely not a Kubera or a, or a grouper. They'd be fighting more down. This thing is pulling me fast. I'm thinking a rooster or the other option really is maybe a big Almaco Jack or maybe a shark pulling me this fast. It's something big. And it's staying high up in the water column. It's out in front of me. Oh my God. Panamanian sleigh ride, ladies and gents. We're going for a ride right now. GPS says I'm getting towed at uh, three and a half knots, four knots, which is about as fast as I can pedal in this thing. And it's going into the current, so really, it's really swimming faster than that. Worst part is I really got to pee. I just was about to use the restroom, and uh, my bait went off, and now this rod butt pushing against my bladder. 
really kind of encouraging me to get this over with quick. Ah, sorry for the rain, ladies and gents. I know this is not a very clear picture, but it's towing me three and a half knots and pulling out drag right now with it pretty much locked down. I don't know what this is, but second bait I put out today, second run, second fish on. But this one feels far from over. I don't know what this is. Ah, it's something big, you guys. Something heavy and something strong. It's towing me out to sea. I'm, I'm worried. I got a feeling this might be a shark, which we don't catch many big sharks out here, but if it's not a shark, I don't know what it could be. Big rooster, maybe, or a big Almaco Jack. getting a free ride out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean right now. <sighs> it could be a shark, man. I don't know, but it's towing me fast. Uh, Eric's on? Yeah. All right, go get him. I'll be all right. Thanks. All right, well, the help boat came to help, but now Eric's hooked up, so client gets priority, so I'm on my own out here getting drug out to sea. I'm having deja vu. It's Adam's Marlin. But I'm pretty sure this thing would have jumped when I first hooked it if it was a marlin or a sailfish. Sailfish, I got it. Love to hook one of those because I feel like I actually got a shot at landing it. Uh, but we are going for a serious sleigh ride in the lightning strike, you guys. And it's dragging me basically into the storm straight offshore right now. Oh man, it's not even slowing down, you guys. We got something big. I don't know. It might be a shark. Oh man. Pull me into the swell and waves. Water crashing over my bow. If this is a big shark. This is going to get real, real sketchy if next to the boat. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully, the pond gets back by the time I get this thing up. Yeah, baby. That's a sleigh ride. Big fish. Now we got Eric hooked up. Oh, he's got him beast. Making it happen the last day. Putting the heat on him. Got Derek over here helping him out. Oh, that's gonna be a big one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we got it, he got, he's on, he's on, he's on. We just had to leave Robert. He's getting towed out to sea by something huge. See? Big boy. I don't have wire on, but these big circle hooks, you know, if you hook a shark in the corner of the mouth and the line's going out behind them, they probably won't bite you off unless they switch directions. This guy's been pretty steady towing me in the same direction. So it could be a shark. Still pulling. Now it's fighting down a little more. Could be a really big rooster, I'm not sure. My biggest rooster ever towed me about two miles over a 40 minute fight. But honestly, it was a lot, it made a lot more fast runs than this thing. That's why I'm thinking shark. We'll find out here pretty soon. He's not too far below me, really. If it is a big shark, I'd love to wear him out a little more just in case. Ah! <laughs> Look at that rod. She bit. <laughs> That's a big ass rod. Here we go. 
what happened with Robert. Robert, do you copy? I got a little color. Oh, I couldn't tell. I saw a little silver or white. Could be a shark, could be a rooster, could be... I don't know what. Oh, there's my leader. It's a shark. I see the fish. Rooster! Giant rooster tail hooked. That's why it's fighting so hard. Yo, I got a big boy rooster on, tail hooked, bro. Big rooster up at the surface next to the boat. <laughs> Roger that, we'll be right there. We got earrings off, we're gonna get it released and we'll be on our way to you. Boy! It's a rooster for everybody! <laughs> rooster for everybody! Rooster baby. Rooster baby! Look at that beauty! <laughs> Killing it right now. Did you run fast? Yo, yeah. <laughs> like crazy. It's not a bass, that's for sure. That is no bass. <laughs> <laughs> if that was a bass, I'd be doing a lot of bass fishing. That is awesome. Just like pick him up like halfway out of the water and then drop him so he goes head, head straight down. There you go. All right, so Eric just landed this fish. We found out what Robert's hooked up to. He's getting towed out by a monster rooster fish. He said it's hooked in the tail. So we're gonna head over to him. But that's a rooster for everybody. Oh my God, you guys. Freaking monster. Hooked in the tail somehow by the circle hook. Very unusual. But this is gonna be a little sketchy. Trying to land this thing when I can't get control of its head. Oh my god, it's a gigantic rooster, you guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> Look at that thing! Oh my god! No way! Bro, I've got a giant dude on my lap. Gotta be mid-50s, homie. Monster, hooked in the tail. Ah. <sighs> Ow. 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 Please stop. Oh. oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this thing. Oh, don't you do it. Look. At this thing, you guys. <laughs> Look at that! Now that is a proper rooster fish, ladies and gents. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that fish. Oh, what an absolute trophy of a rooster fish. <laughs> Insane. Dude, I love these fish. All right. Welcome to Los Buzos, baby! That's a proper rooster fish right there! Whew, got the hook out! Yeah, there he is! Beast! Let's put that sucker on the tape! Woo! Look at this monster rooster fish! Oh my god, what a beast! I love these fish. <laughs> Beast! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a fish, man. Told me so far it passed, I thought it was a shark for sure. You were you were Tail tail hook wrapped around like lasso to tail. Big boy! 
Just landed. Gotta be low to mid 50 inches. <laughs> you got the rain, the wind. You never hook the epic fish on beautiful days when you can get the nice pictures. I always seem to hook them in the slop. No complaints here. What an animal. What a freaking monster of a fish. Ding that big old girl in the angler out for sure. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, well, we're gonna head in. It's rough, the current's strong, the clients are tired. I'm really getting spoiled this week. My boat uh, had a little water in it from all these waves and they went, these guys went ahead and picked me up. Get a little ride in. Two weeks in and we're all feeling it now. Worn out. We got two more weeks to go. I can about fall asleep standing up. It ain't over till the fat first to grow. That's it, bro. I think that's my third biggest. 129, I was trying to do the math in my head. It's about 50. 51 maybe, maybe 52. I've got a 52 and a 54, so. and girls and in between to our little nightly one-on-one -on -one ritual it's kind of become a thing lately in the field trips Panama and I'm digging it I'm digging it it's good to kind of connect with you guys recap the day remind you that I love you for watching this far into the video what an incredible few weeks here in the land of Giants just so many epic fish caught I can't remember how many roosters I landed how many epic fish the clients caught it's just been incredible today was no exception Ending it with that giant rooster towing me out to sea in that you know, storm. I mean, just what an epic finale. What an epic goodbye to one of my favorite places on the planet. If you haven't heard, I'm building a house here. If you have an interest in building a vacation home or something like that, you should, you should hit these guys up. 
I, I think it's going to be a good investment. I'm investing in my future here, but I'm not here to sell you that. I don't care. It doesn't matter. But if you want to come out here and do this with us, do the fishing with us, LosBuzos.com has the answer to every single question you could possibly have when trying to plan a trip out here. Everything from the pricing, what species you catch what month, you name it. Go through the website, check it out, and then let them know when you're ready to plan the fishing adventure of a lifetime. If you want to come out here with me, I've got set weeks every year. The field trips weeks, they're on our calendar on the website. They're first come, first serve, so if there's any slots available, jump on them. Uh, we, I am often sold out a year in advance, but don't worry. You can come out here with Adam Fisk, the man, the myth, the legend, the Marlin Slayer, just, just one of the coolest guys I've ever known. He'll take great care of you. Derrett and Dakota are here full time. They will take great care of you. But for our, now, that's all I got. It's sad. I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss these nightly chats. It's really been nice. Anyways, Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more field trips. Panama coming up. I go to New Zealand every year, Mexico, all around the United States in the RV. There's something for everyone. I hope to see you every week. I'd love to see you back here. It means the world to me for you to still be watching me ramble right now. But that's it. We're going to have a good time tonight. Get back on the bus tomorrow. I think we're going to all have a few cervezas. Yeah. It's sad, I know. I know you guys are sad. That's why I'm just kind of letting this linger. I'm going to miss you too. It's okay. I'll see you next week. I just won't be here. It's okay. I'll be back here soon. Six weeks. Worth the wait. All right, guys. That's it. I'm done. Yep. Cheers. Salud. Hasta luego. Bienvenidos. Ciao. <laughs> Bienvenidos. Ciao. Uh, too many services before the outro. Careful, Braden, it's heading towards you. Uh, and it's pulling me pretty damn fast, bro. <laughs> Look at that thing! Oh, 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 please stop. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys.